Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Chelsea, and I am a new mom to my daughter, Ray, here. Um, she's my first daughter, and um, I have recently, <laughs> well, I guess not recently, like three months ago, right before she was born, did a nursery tour, kind of like just where we got everything and how we decorated it. <laughs> And, um, hold on one second. Alright, this maybe wasn't the best time to do the video, but, uh, I'm doing it anyway. This is Ray's kind of, like, fussy time of the day, but, anyway, overall she's super chill and easy, but just before bed she gets a little bit more fussy. So, anyway, um, so we've done a nursery tour, and I will link that here in the description box below, um, but I've had a lot of requests to do an organizational like tour of the nursery and um, I thought this would be a good time for me to just show you how I organize all the baby stuff around the house because when I was pregnant I was like, okay, what do what kind of things do I need? What's the flow of our house going to be like once we have a baby and um, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm hoping that this will help anyone out there who's pregnant um, right now and maybe, you know, in the same boat that I was in of trying to figure out like how should I organize my house and what items am I going to need and like what's the best way to um, organize baby stuff around the house. So anyway, let's get into it and we'll start first with the nursery and how I've um, arranged her clothes and um, toys and books and things like that. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the nursery when you come in. There's a dresser right here, um, and in the dresser we have, uh, in the top drawer, just the things that we grab the most when we're changing her. Um, so we've got diapers right here. We have, in this little drawer, we have um, her like hair stuff, nail clippers, that sort of thing. We have vitamin D drops right here. And sorry if you can hear her breathing. She is a little bit congested and she's breathing kind of loud right now, so sorry about that. Um, anyway, and then there's like first aid stuff in here, little syringes, the nose Frida, thermometers, grape water, that sort of stuff. And then we have binkies and we have this little bracelet that my sister-in-law made for her for her blessing days. So precious. Um, yeah, so we have binkies in here and I find that this binky bin gets really full and then like dwindles down and then there'll be like one in there and then, you know, that's just how binkies are. They like... There's either like a ton or none. Um, and then um, we have bows here. Like, she's obviously not hurting for bows. Um, her cousins actually have given her a lot of bows on both my side and Eric's side. So we are super grateful and happy for that because look how cute these are. So these are a little bit bigger bows um, and more like head wrap type bows. Um, and then we have socks in here. Um, and then right here we've got bibs. Um, I go through probably two of these a day right now. Well, she goes through two of them a day because she is teething, I think. Um, she's just drooling a lot, so we're, we're going through a lot of those. And then there's some other bibs back here, and then these little mit mittens. And man, if I don't have her wearing these, then she likes to scratch her <laughs> face. It's kind of sad. Um, but I will try to link anything I can um, from what I show you guys today in the description box below. So check that out if you have any questions on where to get some stuff. Um, I get asked questions all the time about these drawer organizers. And these are just from Ikea. They're like $6. And they come with like four of the small ones. Or maybe maybe two of each. Two of the small ones, two of the bigger ones, and then two of the like more skinny rectangular ones. And I'll show you those in a second. Um, but yeah, just Ikea. I think... For these drawers, this is an Ikea dresser, by the way, um, and for to fill all of these drawers with those um, cubby, like, drawer organizers, I think I got, I want to say, like, five or six um, little sets of them, so just for reference. Um, okay, and then we've got our burp cloths right here. These are my very, very favorite burp cloths, and they're from Burt's Bees. I think I got... Well, I got these on Amazon, and then someone gave me some, um, and then you can get them at Target, too, I think. Um, and then I love these little um, changing pad covers. I keep one in my 
like small purse so that if I have to change her on the go I can lay that down and then I also just keep one here because then if she makes a mess then we can just throw this in the washer and we don't have to always be changing the changing pad cover because we just have a couple of these um, and this one is the Burt's Bees one and I really like it we also have one that I just like got from Amazon so that's a lot cheaper because Burt's Bees stuff is a little bit more expensive so moving on to the second drawer in here we've got um, nightgowns right here so these are the nightgowns with the open bottom that are nice for changing at night um, and then right here we've got some sleep sacks and um, just warmer like uh, onesie like type things that we could take her out in if it was really cold um, but it's summertime so we don't really use anything in there right now um, right here we've got um, the white onesies just like a bunch of white onesies and we don't fold them we just throw them in there because yeah we don't really need to fold those these are those longer rectangular cubbies or I don't know what to call them. Storage bins. Um, same from Ikea uh, that I was um, talking about earlier. These are just like zip up or button up onesies like PJs. And then in here we've got her um, just leggings. And everything in here is pretty much zero to three months right now because she is 10 weeks old. But there are a couple things that are still newborn that she's fitting into still. So. Um, so leggings and bottoms, pants, and then these are long sleeve onesies, short sleeve onesies, and that's pretty much it for that drawer. Okay, this bottom drawer is three to six month clothing, as well as um, some, I think, six to nine month clothing. So over here, I think, is where it starts three to six. There's pants, um, nightgown, or sleepers I guess I don't even know what to call those onesies sleepers zip ups I don't know um, these right here are sets so like each little thing goes together um, and that's just like you know leggings and a onesie together and same with right here so each little thing goes together um, and then these are just like short sleeve onesies and more short sleeve onesies over here these are getting in towards um, nine months because I know this right here, this stuff is nine months. These are nine month long sleeve onesies. And guys, it's so cool. My sister um, gave me a bunch of clothes from her daughter who's now two. Um, but her daughter was born in June and, May, and Ray was born in May. So they coordinate. They were able to get a lot of, um, or she was able to get a lot of Emma, her cousin's clothes because they were born in the same season so it's super nice so these were from Emma these are long sleeve onesies and I just can't wait for her to wear that like Christmas time I think that's a six to nine month maybe a nine month one I can't I can't remember but um anyway and these are Star Wars onesies that are so cute I'll have to show you guys later um and then I believe these are nine month um sleepers and don't you just love the look of these drawer organizers it makes me so happy and then I had these in here um, this is just a halo sleep sack um, that's a three to six month one and then this is like a three to nine month sleeper I just had these sitting here because I w wasn't sure what to do with them yet um, we'll just stick them in there for now because we don't ever really open that drawer okay and then I showed you the changing pad table um, but over next to it we have just this bin I got from Home goods, I believe. I really like it. It's super cute baby stuff. Um, and then we have the wipes and some butt paste, lotion, and hand sanitizer. And then we've got our hatch baby, hatch rest baby, uh, what do you call that? Nightlight slash sound machine. And guys, I love that thing. That is such a good, it's so amazing like you can just tap on it and it will change from whatever settings you set in your phone it's all bluetooth capable i talk more about it in my newborn favorites video i will link here and down below so for her books um we just got these from these shelves from ikea and we get asked all the time where we got those from so i'm pretty sure they're called they start with an m <laughs> i can't really remember 
what the name of them is. It's like Moslanda or something. I don't know. You know Ikea names are weird. But um, we just got two of them. And I like that they're here close to the floor so when she gets a little older she can just pull the, sh the books right off the shelf and play and read um, as she pleases. So I think that'll be really fun. And we're just continuing to build our book collection and I love it. It's so fun. Then here's where we store a bunch of her little toys that she doesn't play with at all yet. But we do use some of these blankets for tummy time. And this little thing hanging here is actually a wash bag. So I got this from Amazon and I just stick her little mittens and her socks in there and then wash them so that they, you know, are all together and they don't get lost in the wash. Because man, those little socks can sure get lost. Alright, and then here is her closet. So I'll just open that up. And um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, these storage bins right here I got from Target, and you can see they're right there as well. Um, I'll just kind of go through what's in each thing. I was going to get labels for them, but I don't know. We are we, we know now what's in there, so I don't know if we really need labels. But um, in this one, there are just swaddle blankets, and in here is just like a bunch of random stuff. Mostly like extra supplies like diaper pails and extra little... Um, you know, baby supplies for the bath and stuff like that. Then in here are is her um, baby baby Bjorn, and actually underneath that is her like little monthly um, blanket. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you can check out what that looks like there. Um, and then in these drawers, here's hats and just like random, like her swimsuit and a random little coat that's like so cute it's a little pea coat but I don't think she's gonna be able to wear it she'll be too big by the time winter comes around but this is just mostly um, hats and just kind of like random winter or summer stuff things that we just don't need that much or need to grab that often and then these are all the little bloomers and um, shorts and and here are her shoes, which she's never worn shoes yet, even though I think these ones will fit her. I think these are, these are the only ones that will fit her. And then these ones maybe, but man, baby feet are small. Like I look at these and think that they would fit her, but no, way too big. I think those will fit her when she's like a year old. Um, okay, and then, oh, it looks like she's falling asleep right now. She is nice and cozy and falling asleep but she's still breathing so loud, so I'm sorry, you guys, if you can hear her. <laughs> but let's keep going. Okay, and here are just um, changing pad covers as well as, um, oh, jeez, you liking that binky? Um, and then um, pack and play sheets. Right here are just bed, like, crib sheets, and there's tons because we bought a couple and then we were given some that were basically brand new for my sister-in-law. And then in this one is her uh, little baby carrier, or baby wrap that I'm wearing right now. And then also, this is like a little Star Wars costume, because um, she was <laughs> named after Rey from Star Wars. I'm not going to show that, because that I'm going to take a picture of her in that outfit soon, and then I'll show it to you guys. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. So I've got her boppy over here and her dock tot We get asked all the time if we like the dock tot um, Check out my newborn favorites video to hear a little bit more about um, that. And then, of course, over here we've got a crap ton of diapers. But it seems like a lot, but you can never have too many diapers and wipes. But we have everything from size 1, 2, 3, um, I think, and 4. Or maybe, no, we just have up to four. Or, I mean, up to three. I don't know. We have a lot of diapers, though. But we still have had to buy diapers, I think, twice so far. As far as, we had to buy, like, newborn ones, I think, twice, maybe. Um, okay. Then we've got all of her clothes here. And it starts from uh, newborn. Well, she's not really fitting into newborn anymore. But it's, like, zero to three months. And then all the way till um, this is nine months over here. And then we've got one year, like 
12 to 18 months here and then 18 months to I think three years old right there so that's every all the clothes we have for her so far and then we've got her humidifier there we haven't had to use that yet I don't know how she's breathing today maybe I will break that out and we'll start using it um, okay then we've got a bunch of receiving blankets in that basket in this basket there are a bunch of wipes and then here I have this basket because that basket is great for when she grows out of things I just throw them into this basket and then I'll put those away in storage when it gets full which obviously you can see it's pretty dang full so it's about time to um, box those up and put it in storage all oh, that's all her newborn stuff it's crazy how fast they grow okay I wanted to show you this is her little blessing dress that she wore last week um, so yeah, follow me on Instagram and you can see how adorable she looked in that. Um, but yeah, so this chunk right here is zero to three months and she's almost fitting in three month clothing, which is about right here. And then six month, three to six months is here and then nine months, nine months, excuse me. Um, and then I got these hanger labels. I don't know. What do you call these? Whatever. Um, I got these from Amazon, so I will link those below and they're so stinking cute. And I really like them, especially because um, then, like, when I organize the clothes, Eric can just come in and he knows exactly, like, where to pull from when he's dressing her. Okay, now let's go around the house and I'm going to show you guys how I organize some of the other baby things that we have just throughout the house. Um, something to note here, I am not a hoarder at all. If anything, I am on the other end of the spectrum. I throw things away like crazy. I do not like clutter around my house and so I was worried about baby things um, when I was pregnant like just take I was worried about them taking over my house and so um, we don't really have a lot of baby things just scattered around the house. I'm sure we will as she gets older but um, as of right now it's pretty um, confined and well organized so I'm just going to kind of show you how I've achieved that. So this is our front room, and um, as you can see, <laughs> hi Poe, we don't really have a lot of stuff out, right? We don't have like really any baby things out other than this little diaper caddy that sits right here. And so we have four levels in our house, but they are only separated by just a few stairs. So we've got this level, and then it goes up, and then it goes down, and then there's one more that goes down. So we do really enjoy having diaper caddies available on each level. Um, just in case we need to change her. Um, most of her changing is done at her changing pad, but this is nice to have here. So there's like some hand sanitizer, some diaper cream, and you know, just the basics. And I usually keep a uh, burp cloth here too, but I just did laundry and so um, all of her burp, burp cloths got put up in her room. And then right next to our door, we keep her diaper bag and um, this little a stroller accessory that just wraps on the front of the stroller and it's got cup holders. I talk about this stuff in my newborn favorites. This is just a random box of stuff I need to return to friends and Target. <laughs> um, so here's that stuff that's like ready to go when we need it. And I do try to keep her diaper bag packed at all times so that um, when we're ready to go or we have to take her somewhere to be babysat or whatever, then all we have to do is like add a bottle to it and then we're good to go. If you guys are interested to see uh, what's in my diaper bag video, I'd be happy to make that for you and I can show you how I keep this packed and um, yeah, just what's in there on a regular basis and you know, kind of a tour of this particular diaper bag because it does fit a lot and it was a great deal on Amazon. I will link it below. I also have this little diaper bag. Um, this is what I carry with me when I don't really need a lot of stuff. I just have like a little changing pad, like a little cloth that I can lay down. I have wipes, diapers, and I usually put um, like a burp cloth and a onesie in there, binky, and some hand sanitizer, and that's pretty much it. And then just like my wallet and chapstick or whatever I have with me. So that is super nice. And this is a great backpack because you can wear it as a backpack or you can wear it as like a crossbody over the shoulder purse. All right, this is one of my most favorite purchases for Ray, our Gina car seat. Um, so we just keep this right here ready to go um, with, we always have a blanket on there and then um, the car seat 
cover. So this is pretty much always right here just for convenience and it's always um, got its uh, wheels out so that we can just strap her in and we don't have to lean over so far um, down to the ground and then we'll just like pop the wheels into itself and put it in our car. Super nifty. I talk more about that in my newborn essentials video as well. And of course there's always just a little binky sitting in there because <laughs> you know you're gonna you never know when you're gonna need a little binky. Hump -o. Okay and if you do bottles um, this is kind of like our setup so we she is breastfed but um, we do feed her bottles as well because I do pump but anyway here's this little bowl we keep in here because it just like gathers all the little um, either breast pump accessories or bottle accessories before they need to um, be washed. So we just kind of like toss them in there and just they pile up throughout the day. Um, but it's the weekend so I'm home feeding her. I do work full time so during the week that fills up a little bit more. She's with my husband throughout the day. Most days. So, um, and then we have our little cleaning, um, air, or sorry, drying rack over here. Just got this on Amazon and I think you can get it at Target as well. So, um, we, once they are dry here, I will show you where we put our bottles. All right, next to our fridge, we have this cupboard and this is where we keep all of her bottles and accessories and all my pump accessories. So in here are all her four ounce bottles and the lids and caps and all the accessories to those because we do use Dr. Brown's bottles and um, I didn't want, I wanted them to be, all the parts to be open to the air because I just felt like that was better for keeping them sanitized. <laughs> um, instead of, you know, like putting the caps on all of them and stuff, we just keep them like this and then we grab the little um, parts we need as we need them. Um, and back there are the eight ounce bottle accessories. Um, and here are the eight ounce. We don't really use them as much because she's really eating about four to five ounces right now on each feed. Um, and then here are some breast milk bags, some more bottle cleaning accessories, and some formula back there and breast milk. Um, accessories and back here is just more formula and then some like formula containers and um, snack containers for when she gets a little bit older. This is kind of like our baby feeding shelf for now. So it works out well um, and then right underneath that you have Poe stuff. Huh. Alright let's go downstairs and I can show you a couple more things. Poe's gonna lead the way as usual. So this is um, our little family room. Uh, we have not decorated or done anything in here yet, so just don't mind that. But um, we do keep a little diaper caddy here. I've done a re little review on this in my newborn uh, favorites video. This is a great diaper bag if you um, have a lot of stuff you want to keep in one area of the house because there are so many pockets. And then there's this cool zipper on the back. And um, yeah, so we just keep um, diapers in here, wipes, usually have in this front pocket a burp cloth, hand sanitizer, butt paste, which I think I, I usually have it right there, but I don't know where it is. Um, and then another changing tab liner. You guys, these are the bomb. Um, and then, yeah, wipes. So, and we'll just add to this as we... As she gets a little older, she's not too uh, high maintenance right now, so that's all we need. So this is called the Mimo Caddy Organizer, I think, and you don't have to just use it for diapers, but um, I did want to let you know that I saw that they are doing an Amazon Prime Day deal, and this video will probably be posted on Amazon Prime Day, uh, which is Monday and Tuesday, the 15th and 16th of July, so if you want to take advantage of their deal, um, I'll try to find a link and link it down below, um, but I think they're doing... You can get one, buy one of these and get 10% off, two for 20% off, three for 30% off. So anyway, um, check that out. I'll put some info in the description box below. Okay guys, last level. Um, down here is where we watch a lot of movies and um, it's like kind of Eric's man cave. Um, if you've seen our house tour, then you've seen this. Um, 
but we, uh, like I said, watch movies down here together, and Eric will sometimes, you know, if he's playing video games or just hanging out down here, um, I wanted to have another diaper caddy for him available if he had Ray down here with him. So we've got another one right here. So that is just makes it, you know, convenient. Okay, wanted to show you how we have things set up in my bedroom um, with my nicely unmade bed because we took a nap. Um, we have not had Ray in our room since she was two weeks old. So she's been in her own nursery since then. So the only thing that we keep in here really is this bouncer, um, which is a baby Bjorn bouncer. Love this thing so much. I just set it right here. Um, it comes down anyway. Um, and I just set it right here so that I can have her by me while I get ready. And she loves to just kick her feet and bounce around in that. Um, and then we usually do have like a blanket or something in here. Um, just yeah, for convenience. And then in the bathroom, we have a little bin of her, uh, washcloths and towels. So that is pretty much it as far as baby stuff in our bathroom and bedroom. And then we also have the little angel care baby tub. Oh, and then on my nightstand, of course, we have the monitor and just a burp cloth, really. Sometimes I have a binky in here because um, sometimes I'll just nurse her while I watch a show or something on there. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I did want to let you guys know that this video will most likely be posted during Amazon Prime Day, which is July 15th and 16th. So. If you want to take advantage of some of these, um, some of the deals going on with Prime Day, I will have everything linked below, um, everything that you saw, as much as I can find, <laughs> um, available on Amazon, as well as like a direct link to my Amazon store, which is where I post all of my um, favorite items that I purchase from Amazon and continue to purchase from Amazon. So go ahead and check that out below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I would love to chat with you over there and I will catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.